I don't remember exactly where we were the first time I viewed the Earth, but I remember getting out of the spacesuits in the mid deck of the space shuttle and then floating back up and then having a chance to actually get my full view out the window to get close to the window in the view of the earth and uh, what struck me was that just the overall beauty of the planet and specifically with the, uh, the the blues of the oceans and the whites of the uh, of the cloud formation Planet Earth. We have all seen this photo or similar pictures thousands of times. It was taken on one of the Apollo missions in the early 1970s. And when you think about it, that's actually not very long ago, only 50 years ago. No human being had ever seen Planet Earth from this perspective. At that time, no one thought that one day, only 50 years later, there might be a problem with life on this planet. This week, will all be about sustainability. But what actually is sustainability? If someone asks you this question, you can answer with a simple statement. You can just say, sustainability is the art of living well on a finite planet. Too easy. Of course, there is much, much more behind this statement. And this is what we will explore this week. So let's start with a finite planet. This one planet Earth is all we've got to live on. The more people we are, the more we produce and consume, the more we put this Earth and the system under pressure. Scientists have worked out that human influence has now irreversibly changed the functions of the system. In other words, we have already transgressed some of the planetary boundaries that define a safe operating space for humanity. You will learn what these boundaries are and why they matter. But it is not only about the natural environment. As you will see this week, both society and economy are the two other important domains for sustainability. As with planetary boundaries, we can actually define social boundaries, or you could also call them the minimum social and economic standards that we have to achieve or maintain in order to be truly sustainable. You will learn about principles for sustainability and how they can be applied to engineering. More than ever, engineers need to find holistic and effective solutions to currently unsustainable practices. You will learn what it takes to think and act as a sustainable engineer. You might have heard about sustainable engineering or industrial ecology or circular economy, perhaps. All these are concepts that take civil and environmental engineering to the next level by considering interactions between the technical, the ecological, social and economic systems and by avoid shifting problems from one area to the other. Well, I hope you enjoy the course during this week and I will see you online. Thank you.